In this final task, I'll use the raster calculator to combine the reclassified slope and aspect data. The raster calculator allows you to combine raster datasets mathematically to produce new outputs. For example, raster datasets can be added or subtracted or multiplied and divided against one another. These procedures are known as raster algebra or map algebra. In this task, I'll add the two reclassified rasters together. Since each raster has ideal conditions coded with threes, an area that ends up with a pixel value of six would be ideal for both these parameters. So now I'll open the raster calculator. Go to the raster menu, raster calculator. The loaded raster data sets are listed in this upper right hand window. Below that, there's a panel of operators. And at the bottom, the place where I create my raster calculator expression. So I want to add both of these reclassified data sets together. So I can start by just double clicking on slope reclassified to place it in the expression window. Click the plus operator and then click aspect to place it down there. So I have slope plus aspect. I'm going to choose an output format a Verdas Imagine as I've been using. And I'll click the output layer and I'll save it to my working folder as plant habitat .img. I'll click OK. I get my resulting data set. Now I'm going to style it. So I'm going to double click on it, change it to a single band pseudo color renderer, set the mode to equal interval, the number of classes to six. I'll go down here to change load min max values to min max and the accuracy to actual and click load. And then I'll click classify. And then I'll click OK. So the green areas would represent the most optimum habitat for this plant and the red areas the least optimum. This lab exposed you to terrain analysis. You first created derived data sets from elevation data. You then went on to reclassify two terrain related data sets, aspect and slope, and combine them to produce a suitable habitat layer for a plant species. This is another method of doing site selection analysis. Raster data are well suited for these kinds of analyses.